I feel my most self when I'm dancing and I don't think that's a specific feeling or a specific place that I'm in. It's the surrender to, to being so yourself in that moment that it feels like nothing you can experience in, in real life, you know. That's probably the best way I can explain how I feel about dance. Hi, my name is Sipe November. I'm from Zolani, South Africa. I came to Toronto in 2010 and this is my journey. I left home at uh, the age of 12 to pursue dance training here in Toronto, Canada and uh, it was the most exciting moment of my life. It was July 1st, Canada Day. Um, I landed, I took a nap, um, and then my Canadian family, we all got together, we all got on our bikes and rode down to the waterfront to see the fireworks. And I remember being so jet lagged and everyone worried that I couldn't ride a bike. They didn't really know me, but it was Canada Day. And what a perfect day, you know, to welcome me to Canada. I do remember the day I got accepted into the National Ballet School. My mom picked me up and uh, I was in the back because, you know, I was too small to be in the front seat. And uh, she turned around crying and I was just like, you just got accepted into the freaking National Ballet School. I didn't really understand what it meant at the time, but I just, uh, her face and, and hearing those words just uh, filled me with so much joy. Having Sergio Stefanski as my coach and teacher, my last couple of years in the ballet school were instrumental. He, I say he is a, is a god of, of, you know, dance education, ballet education. And he was able to make me, I think for the first time, fall in love with ballet. He made me understand qualities that I could relate to in ballet that I think made me go, oh, like, I can do ballet, I can do classical ballet, I can be that dancer. And he reinforced these qualities that I find so beautiful about dance in general. I was lucky enough at the ballet school where I was in a pretty diverse environment. And for the first time, I saw diversity, not just as black and white, you know. There were black kids and from different backgrounds, you know, there were South American, there were French kids who were black, and it added a layer of understanding the complexity of diversity when I first joined the company. Um, those, those were moments of doubt, and I looked around and, you know, not seeing uh, familiar faces, uh, going to the theater and not seeing familiar faces at the stage door. Um, and I think that really, uh, for a moment held me back, but then shortly after I realized that it's an opportunity um, to, to change that. It's an opportunity to, to influence that change at least. And if I can occupy the space, then more people like me can occupy the space and other spaces. The very first time I stepped on stage with the National Ballet of Canada was in Paris uh, doing John Neumeyer's Nijinsky. I was one of the many soldiers in the second act. Um, I appeared on stage for you know a very short period of time which was great when you're in Paris because you can you know stress free a little bit and visit the sites and you know get to perform in the evening for a beautiful audience. I got promoted to principal dancer uh, 2021, summer of 2021, which was incredible. I was actually with my brother from South Africa at the time. Sharing that moment of promotion with my brother was one of the biggest highlights of my life. He knows what it means to, to leave your family, to pursue your, your dance career as well. So he, he's the only person that truly understands me inside out. And so to share that with him and for him to understand how big of a deal it was and how important this moment was for me and for us um, was really, really something special. Even though on the outside, it's, I'm not your typical ballet dancer. I don't um, represent 
what ballet used to be, but also the opportunity that I can represent what ballet can be is something that makes me fall in love with it every single day.